Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about Breakthrough. In this review, I'll be going over a brief summary of the plot, my quick thoughts about the film, and whether or not you guys should go and see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler free. However, if you don't know anything about the film, and you want to go in completely blind, then it's just come back to this video once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? Whatever you have for me, for Brian, for John, So Breakthrough is based on a true story and centers around Joyce Smith and her adopted son, John Smith. Recently, they've been kind of growing apart as he's kind of getting to that age where he kind of starts to not really need his parents so much. One day, he's out with his friends, they're playing on the ice, and it seems like any other day when the ice breaks beneath them and all three of them end up plummeting inside the water. Two of the boys are able to get out of the ice, except for John, who ends up plummeting down to the bottom of the lake. So quickly, emergency services have to be called to the scene, and at this point, John has been under the water for about 11 to 15 minutes. So there's not much hope of actually finding him when one of the firefighters gets lucky and manages to pull him out of the water. He's then taken to the hospital where the doctors try and bring him back to life. At this point, John's mother is called to the hospital, but she's not being told anything about her son. And shortly after, it doesn't seem like John's going to make it back and the doctors have pretty much given up hope that they'll be able to save him. So then Joyce is called into the room by the doctors to basically say her last goodbyes to her son. But she's in absolute disbelief that this could happen. And being a God-fearing woman herself, she begs God to try and save her son. And I have to admit that this scene was really hard to watch. Not in the sense of that it was really bad, it was just really heart-wrenching, just like a really well-acted scene. But then, just when all hope seemed lost, John's heart started to beat again, and the doctors immediately took action. And from pretty much every step of the way, it seems very unlikely that John will wake up. But Joyce, John's mother, seems to have one thing that no one else seems to have at this point. Faith that her son will be okay. And so we have Breakthrough. Now, I know that all may have seemed quite spoilery, but all of this was literally in the trailer, so it's pretty much the basic premise of the movie. Now, to start off with, the performances in this movie were really good. Chrissy Metz had to be the standout performance in this. Her performance was really heartbreaking, and at its core, it was very relatable, because if you were a parent, you would do absolutely anything you can to try and save your son. And actually, someone who quite surprised me of how good they were in this was Topher Grace, because I think we all remember him as Venom in Spider-Man 3. And I think it's safe to say that that particular performance seems like it was an outlier in his career. But like I said before, that one scene that was really hard to watch, I think this whole movie just has really hard to watch scenes. Because they're really well acted, they're really relatable, and they're just really heart-wrenching. And admittedly, the movie does border on being quite cheesy. But realistically, I wasn't expecting anything else from this. I thought the place where Breakthrough was going to fall really flat and be kind of hard to watch from a quality standpoint was with how preachy they were going to be about God. Instead of being too preachy and saying God is the answer, God is the light, they instead say they have faith in God that he will save their son. And whether you call it God, whether you call it fate, whether you call it a miracle, you can't deny how uplifting this story is. But now, as for everyone, you guys should go and see it. Honestly, I enjoyed this one a lot more than I thought I would. But I wouldn't say that this is one that you need to rush to the cinema to go see. Because this is one of those movies, again, where it's not exactly enhanced by being on a big screen. And though I did enjoy it, there's not really all that much to it that it would warrant you going out of your way to see it. But having said that, I do think that you should probably actually see this at some point, whether it be at home or even at the cinema, because this is definitely a decent movie. So in summary, if you're interested, go see this one because it's an half-decent film. Okay guys, that's my review of Breakthrough. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? And what's your favourite uplifting story? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!